From the very beginnings of Christianity, there were always women who wanted to imitate Christ and who undertook a life of chastity, poverty, and obedience. These gave rise to the first female convent communities. Today, over 2,500 such female contemplative and active communities exist around the world, with 740,000 sisters. Founded by Father Wedemfried van Straten, aid to the church in need has helped convent sisters since 1950. Every year, aid reaches 800 communities in over 140 countries around the world, mainly in Eastern Europe, Asia, Africa and South America. It's always been very important for Aid to the Church in Need to help sisters, be it contemplative sisters or active sisters. Contemplative nuns, cut off from the rest of the world, remain in the convent they joined throughout their lives, offering themselves with Christ for the salvation of the world. Their day begins at around 5 a.m. They recite breviary prayers, meditate and participate in the Holy Mass. Having chosen a closed space, renounced all worldly goods and freedom of movement, they pray for the whole church, for priests, for the suffering, as well as for the intentions entrusted to them. They spend a lot of their days praying, that is their main charisma, but they also have to live. So how do they live? Sometimes they make hosts and then we help them to have machines for baking hosts. Maybe they're making liturgical ornaments for priests, vestments, so we provide them with machines for that. We give them what we call an existence help. They love their life, their complete devotion to this life of prayer, the number of young girls who enter into it, the wonderful atmosphere. The sisters are so joyful. Sometimes you have 20 or 30 young novices living together in a dormitory. At this stage in their formation, normally, they should have much more room and more privacy. Each soul needs to be in solitude with God. They're praying for us, they're praying for you and me, they're praying for the people we help also in other developing countries. Aid to the Church in Need also helps sisters in active convents. Many sisters from active convents look after children from the streets, run hospitals for lepers amongst others, and care for the dying. They go into homes of private people where somebody is in the end stages of their life, how they stay up every night with these people. On an African continent torn apart by ethnic conflicts, where non-governmental organizations are more often than not absent, Convent Sisters provide the poorest with medical assistance, education, social and spiritual help. If we receive more funds, I can see us opening up, you know, maybe more avenues, like establishment of schools in these rural areas. There is great need. People ask us, you know, come and help us, maybe build a clinic, build a school, giving workshops, empowering women and youth. When I came back from having visited Congo, I couldn't get out of my mind the sisters I met who told us about working with women who had been raped by one group or the other in these conflicts and how the sisters try to help these women to find their self-esteem as well through catechesis but also through very practical projects. <laughs>
During war and civil unrest, children are the ones most likely to suffer. Orphaned, diseased, deprived access to education. The greatest suffering is that there are so many children and we have only one class. In the future, we want to establish a learning center for the little girls, as well as for the older children. This is a long-term project, because at the moment we do not have the possibilities to respond. A unique challenge in African countries has become the battle with AIDS. Sisters in Kenya have successfully faced up to the task. I personally am very grateful, and so are my sisters working in different parts of Africa to the age of the church in need for the support they have given us in running programs on prevention for many people. And I'd like them to know that through running these programs that I believe that many thousands of young people have had a change of lifestyle and are now um, free from the risk of getting the virus. Despite the numerous challenges and difficult conditions, the number of callings in Africa is growing by 28% by 18% in Asia. This extraordinary growth of professed sisters has given rise to increasing requests from the vicious worldwide to aid to the church in need in support of formation and professional training. Aid to the church in need over the last 10 years has provided over 11 million euros for contemplative sisters, 47 million euros to active sisters and 2 million euros for the formation of novices. We are most grateful to Aid to the Church in Need organization for all the support we have received in the past. We appreciate all that you are offering us now and I pray that this solidarity and collaboration will continue. <laughs>